Hi, this is Erin from Bridgeville and Southfield Township Libraries. Today, I'm going to show you how to make matcha green tea. This will also be available as a take make kit from the libraries, so be sure to check that out while supplies last. Let's see what we'll need for this activity. Here in my bowl, I have my matcha powder. And as you can see, it has a very strong green color. And that green actually comes from chlorophyll. In the final weeks before the tea leaves are harvested, they're artificially shaded, which activates the chlorophyll in the leaves and gives it that color. And then the leaves are taken, they're dried and ground up to create the powder here. Now matcha has a bit more caffeine than regular green tea and that's because you're consuming the entire leaf rather than just taking the tea bag, steeping it, and removing the tea leaves from your drink. So now let's look at how we're going to prepare our matcha powder. In typical Japanese tea ceremonies, you would whisk your powder in a bowl using a bamboo whisk called a chasen. I'm going to use just a regular whisk to prepare mine. You could also prepare yours in a blender, especially good for making an iced matcha drink. Or if you have a bottle with a tight fitting lid, you could put your matcha powder in there and your water and just shake it to combine them. So I'm going to start by adding just a little bit of water in there. And then I'm going to take my whisk. Now when you whisk during cooking, you tend to use a circular motion. For matcha, we're going to use a back and forth or sort of M-shaped motion to combine our powder. An important thing that you want to look for is that there are no lumps. And you also want to make sure that your mixture is getting nice and foamy, which it looks like mine is. But it also looks like I still have some of the powder visible. So I'm going to keep whisking until I don't see that. So that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is just add the rest of my water here. And I want about a cup. You can add more or less matcha depending on how strong you want your tea. Matcha has sort of a unique flavor. It's a bit earthy and for some it can be kind of an acquired taste. So my matcha looks pretty good here. It's nice and foamy. That's what I want. And that is how you mix together matcha. So thank you for watching and have a great day everyone.